Now we are about to glue the purflings and for that uh, purpose we have our blacks newly cooked here and our white stripes and we have these jigs for gluing them together. It's um, well just a um, piece of plywood and uh, it's been uh, covered on the surface where the purfling is going to be glued with uh, I covered it with uh, tape so it doesn't stick into the wood. Uh, we take one shaving here like that it's wet so we have to dry it when you store this it's uh, of course it dries out and uh, uh, if you have a casserole like this it will uh, well it will dry out in the casserole and then um, uh, you just pour water in it and uh, soak it for some seconds and uh, it will be flexible again. So we have these uh, blacks and um, measure how long it will be on the white and we cut it. The whites here are a little bit too short to be <laughs> They should have been uh, as long as the blacks, but uh, we can do it this way. So now we have four long whites and four short whites. And you understand this goes to the upper part. Um, and let's take some glue and the long one. Put glue on it. I have to mention I got this technique from Roger Hargrave uh, publishing it in the Strad at the end of the 1980s both the recipe and uh, the method for gluing And it's quite important to have all three shavings or all three pieces on top of each other so they don't, uh, uh, well, if they slide a uh, little bit aside from each other then uh, it can be problems to uh, get the right, well, you see if they slip like that the only place where it's actually three layers is in a very narrow spot like here so it can be too thin sometimes I feel I'm explaining it too much but you have to skip that okay so here's the purfling and I leave it to dry. That's it.
and uh, then you only have to make the rest. The sea bouts are made on the outside here, tape, string, and you just fit it and go around here. So, 